guess what? There's bees. Yup, definitely Africanized. Just playing. I don't know how many bees are really in there. There's not much activity over here. In case anyone was wondering how to contract the hunter virus, you take a stick like this and find a pile of debris like that's full of rat and you start stirring up the dust like that. Yeah. And just breathe it in, baby. Couldn't film this part because I can't reveal the secret of the Egyptians and how they built the pyramids, but we got the We're gonna lift this up tank into the truck. Forward put a box hive here so many of the bees are going to be out foraging right now this gives them some place to go back to they kind of and only get stiff stung occasionally see what it looks like in there get up there huge mess and it's not that big of a hive and it looks like it may have been abandoned and re Go ahead, pull that out. Just stand it up on its end and get it oh, out. Oh, head. Can you get around here and take a look inside? What do you see? Uh, some comb. Not a whole lot. Well, I'm real disappointed, but you know that's old it's and gross. abandoned. Some of it's yeah. abandoned. Oh, God. So I think they'd moved out. What? The roaches. Oh, the ro and there's roaches. Nothing in there. I don't know if you can see the roaches with the. Is there any old comb down there? Nope. Roaches ah. don't that. Yeah, I so. Can you see these on that? Yeah. What did Look at that. There's a uh, hundred of them in there at least. But there's a queen in there, clearly. Brood. Well, the good news is you didn't destroy the Yeah. Home. The good news is we cut it in the right spot. Yeah, so you've got a queen. You've got a nice little nuke going here. Yeah, and I don't have a nuke to put them in. Oh, wow. I didn't bring another nuke. I should have. Oh. That's okay. Well, that's okay. Put a few more bees in there than you think, probably. Give them up and you can hear them. Okay, that's good. We got two. Now then. And this is... Hold. Can you hold? Yeah, hold that yep, so it doesn't rotate on me too much. And this is the same thing. It's just empty comb. Hmm. There will be. Where the honey at, bees? <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> She's getting swarmed. Ooh, there's something going on here. Yeah, we got brood. That's brood. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the brood. brood dude. You see the little white, white, white things? That's larvae that hasn't been capped yet. These oh, are yeah. these are already capped larvae. There's not a whole lot of them on this comb. Here, hold it steady. Let me see if I can get it. See the little white babies? Those are yep. those are pretty good sized larvae. If there's baby ones that are smaller in there, they may even, you may not even be able to see them. But. Now what we want to do is we want to we want to frame this. Okay? Yeah, hang it on the wall. Like green side up. Know what I mean? Uh okay, this larva is going, up. Well, no, the, the side that was up before needs to continue up. This is the upside. So I've got it upside down right now. I see what you mean. This is the top the of your frame. Edge on the, top. the wider, the wider. Right, so you put the frame. rough edge that you cut onto the thick edge. The reason is the frame. Yeah, the cells are not exactly horizontal. They're on a real small slope, so the honey doesn't roll out. Oh, I see. And you want to get this as close to the end. See, that's that's nice because it, I cut it to the right size. Yep. Rather than sometimes you'll only go halfway up and didn't work out nearly as well as this. And the bees will actually fill in the edges sure. around here. 
and attach it to the frame eventually. And actually, it didn't take them too long. Okay, get your ashes to work now. Now then, that is, that's, you've got a little more brood on this. Mm -hmm. Is there another one behind it too? Yeah. No, maybe not. Yeah, one more. One more little one. Yeah. yeah. That's it. This is a. I'm pretty disappointed in these guys. I think what's happened is when it was abandoned, the roaches ate all the stuff that was in here. And this is this is from this year. These bees bait. We found some. I haven't found a queen. Found some brood. No honey. You seen that comb, that, that plastic comb? You can order it in two different sizes, large uh -huh. and small. And if you get the larger, the bees build out on it and they'll build bigger bees. That's the natural size. They think that if they use the smaller ones, it leaves less room for varroa mite. Queen fills it with uh, unfertilized eggs. It turns into drones. And when they're capped, you take them and put them in the freezer and kill them all. Put them back in. The bees will drag them out with the dead varroa mite larvae that are in the cell with them. The varroa mites seem to like the bigger cells, and, and that's mainly drone cells. So drones are a lot more likely to attract them. And supposedly. How interesting is that? Are the drones clones? The are they drones? Have no father. Drone clones. The drones only have the genetics of their mother. Okay, am I doing this right? Green side up. Yeah, yeah you're doing okay. it. Let me get this right. I gotta cut this. Okay. You guys move over. I think you're. Okay, cut. <laughs> Have you seen a queen? I'm not. I'm no good. I'm, huh? Is she? Huh? You sure? Uh, I don't think so. No, maybe not. Well, she sure had a long abdomen. Hmm. Might have stung. Hang on to her just a second. There's another giant two, two of them. Damn, I hate those things. You see them? Yeah, man. I see them. Did, did we get them both? Nope. Okay. There's one. There's a giant roach on Where? there. There it is right there. I'm sorry, but you were not invited. Got that some. Okay, that slides up. Does it add a slight roach flavor to the honey? Slight. I think there's more bees than roaches. There's a damn switch on this thing. They'll stick your butt up in the air and fan their wings. That's yeah. a that's a different pheromone, and it's for when they. Yeah, the little bastard's doing a dance now. I don't like that. When they start doing a dance, that means let's go someplace else. <laughs> but if you if they if they stick their butt up in the air and fan their wings, they're, they're giving off a pheromone called Nazanoff. Yeah. And that's what makes the other bees know that this is the right yeah. place to go. Over here, if you watch this, if I turn this on, that's going to suck the bees away from my hole. Now they have ventilation. If you leave them in a closed box for very long, it'll, they'll die. In sure. Ventilation. When I put the beehive on top, then you slide this out halfway till this goes right here. And that's awesome. There you go. Either the queen didn't lay there, or that's a larva that is, has emerged and left a hole. Mm -hmm. If you look right here in this area, you'll see new larva that's, you gotta get the light just right. If 
you get that light, you can see larva down there. Yep. This kind of looked like a, gray, a white the blob white. of jelly. The and that's blood. that's larvae that hasn't been capped yet. You can see they, they build honey around the outside edge. It makes it handy for them to feed the babies. And this is this is like perfect. It was completely laid and it's been laid back again where the, there's been an emergence. There's already larva in those holes again. Wow. And this is all honey up here. And it's beautiful. If I didn't have this hood on, I'd take a lick. This one, I, got, I brought this one. I want you to lift it. This is mostly honey on this side. With some, that looks like drone brood again. Yeah, the raised, raised ones. Yeah, and the drones are just bigger, need a bigger thing. And this is more, more uh, brood that's capped and it looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. And this is all honey up here. And I just want you sure. to hold this and see how heavy it is. Just, yeah, just hold heavy. it, just hold it. Whoa. Just hold it, they won't bite you. They might sting you, but they won't bite you. I just wanted you to see how heavy that is Damn. relative that to near where the cutout comb was. And I'm gonna get that other one and put it right in there. Hey, are they gonna kill each other because they're from a different hive? They might, probably not. And those ones are Africanized? <laughs> That's my excuse why four of them stung me. If they catch them coming in the front door, there could be a fight. But you wanna get them nice and tight. Put your screen on top. That beehive down at your grandma's house or your mom's house? And it was beehive. So she told me where it was. The next time I came down here, I looked. I couldn't even see them. But there weren't any bees. There were just this comb. And it's kind of brown, kind of like the bark of the tree. It's hard to see when there's no bees on it. And it Couple bees up there. Yeah, I think.